Hi, my name is Eric Thor and I'm a packaholic. Behind me, you see my trusted friend and companion, my backpack. And slavishly, I prepare and pack it up with anything I might feasibly need during a day. My girlfriend, she comments that my backpack weighs more than the Mount Everest, and she's not wrong. I like to make sure that I've got things out of the way, and I pack notebooks, computers, chargers, and I pack water, and I pack snacks, and I might also even consider packing some extra change of clothes. I pack a scarf in case it gets cold, and I pack to make sure that in case my girlfriend might need something, she will have it too. So I pack her things, and I pack my things, and I do all these things because I just want to be prepared for the future. And uh, I don't know if you can relate, but my head is always in the future. And I didn't realize how bad it was until I thought about uh, my classic evening routine. Before I can go to bed, I have a routine, and a very important one indeed. I have to make sure that I've done all the dishes and that I've prepared the coffee. So what I do is I prepare the coffee, I portion it out, I put the water in the brewer. So all I have to do in the morning is press a button. I make sure that all the dishes are out of the way so that in the morning I can just grab a new plate and I can make a sandwich. I do all these things because I'm worried about the future. I don't want to wake up and realize I have to make the coffee fresh and portion it and put the water in. I do all these things because I don't want to re run out of boards and realize I have to do the dishes before I can make myself a sandwich. I do all these things to make sure there's nothing in the way and so that I can wake up fresh and without stress. I plan and I prepare for everything and I do so using alarms and lists and calendars. I <laughs> have lists for everything at this point. I have lists in my calendar, I have appointments for everything, I have grocery lists, I have weekend schedules for food, and I make all these things and I prepare these things and I do these things all the time. I make lists to prepare content and videos, I make lists to prepare for work and for anything I might need to do at work. I run through all these scenarios and I over prepare for them. I prepare for scenarios that don't happen, I bring books even though I won't read them. I bring my computer even though I might not use it. <laughs> I bring a notebook even though I might not even have time to write in it. I bring water even though I could get water on the go. I do all these things just to make sure that it won't cause me inconvenience. <laughs> and I inconvenience myself by preparing for it and by thinking about it, the inconveniences that could come up. I'm a packaholic. I don't know if you can relate, but I've got the world on my shoulders. In particular, I've got my house on my shoulders. Uh, and uh, eventually I'm going to have to find out the strategy to finance my back treatments program 10 years into the future from carrying all this weight. And uh, yeah, that brings us to your problem. Do you over-prepare? Are you an over-preparer? Are you an over-packer? Are you a person that uh, uh, goes a bit crazy thinking about different scenarios? Are you a person that struggles to cope with the chaos and changes of real life? If so, call 911. I don't know, call somebody that can help you. Uh, call a psychologist uh, or start a health program with me. Uh, write down in the comments, maybe we can start a circle, maybe we can do something. Uh, just kidding, I won't have time for it. Uh, but you get the point. Uh, my question is, how do you deal with the future? How do you handle change? How do you prepare and plan? Do you have a routine? Uh, can you relate to what I said in this video? Just a short one, just to share my day. I'm currently going to go out grocery shopping and then I'm going to head home. Thanks for watching and see you all in the next video.